In the mid-80s, producer Brian Usna was introduced to Stuart Gordon, a theater director looking to create a television series based on H.P. Lovecraft's Herbert West reanimator stories. Usna agreed to produce Gordon's project on two conditions, that it instead be made into a feature film and that it pushed the boundaries of what a horror movie could show audiences. Little did he know, he'd wind up having a hand in five of the most disgustingly crude and absurdly hilarious films of the decade, starting with 1985's Reanimator. Usna and Gordon's film follows the experiments of eccentric med student Herbert West and his reluctant roommate Dan Kane after West discovers a serum capable of resurrecting the dead. However, the murderous tendencies of West's brain-dead monstrosities trigger a chain of increasingly chaotic resurrections, including decapitated med school professor Dr. Hill. And if you like cat scares, Reanimator has an entire killer cat scene. <laughs> the film's low budget meant that its numerous special effects had to be done on the cheap, often using real meat from a butcher's shop and in the case of the reanimating serum, the liquid from glow sticks. Reanimator's blend of over-the-top gore and campy humor was held together by Jeffrey Combs' madcap performance. You'll never get credit for my discovery. Who's going to believe a talking head get a job in a sideshow? Shockingly, the film's bloodiness was equally matched by its sexual explicitness, as Gordon theorized the living dead would have no control over their carnal instincts. Gordon and Yuzna followed up Reanimator by adapting another of Lovecraft's tales, From Beyond, in 1986. In it, mad scientist Dr. Edward Pretorius creates a mechanical resonator that stimulates the pineal gland. Those within the reach of the resonator are able to perceive an overlapping world undetectable to normal human senses. Unfortunately, this other world's inhabitants, including the assimilated Dr. Pretorius, can also see them. With From Beyond, Yuzna and Gordon stepped even further into the realms of the bazaar. Gordon hypothesized that, since the pineal gland controls one's sex drive, those exposed to the resonator would become extremely stimulated. To visualize the film's extrasensory realm, Gordon used colorful splashes of blue and pink to simulate a world beyond normal visual range. To cut costs, distributor Empire Pictures had expanded to Italy, where From Beyond, and Gordon and Yuzna's following project were shot. With their next film, Gordon and Yuzna abandoned their Lovecraftian formula. Instead, they moved on to the killer toy movie, Dolls, in 1987. After being stranded in rural England during a thunderstorm, a young girl, her disgruntled parents, a cowardly businessman, and the two punk girls he picked up all take shelter in an old mansion owned by an elderly couple. One by one, the mansion's guests are attacked by the couple's malicious toys and turned into dolls themselves. Only the young at heart are allowed to survive. Oh, yeah? Why didn't they kill you? I'm young at heart, I guess? Like its predecessors, Dolls contains many absurd moments, including a giant, murderous teddy bear daydream sequence and, of course, its killer doll death scenes. Gordon conceptualized dolls after being locked inside a museum's Victorian doll collection overnight. Notably, co-producer Charles Band later reworked the idea of dolls into the direct-to-video Puppet Master series, using dolls animator David Allen for the film stop-motion effects. Band even cast doll star Guy Rolfe as the titular Puppet Master in four of the series' sequels. Yuzna and Gordon saw their biggest box office success when they co-wrote the story for Disney's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, released in 1989. However, when Empire Pictures went bankrupt a year earlier, Gordon and Yuzna parted ways. Using the promise of a reanimator sequel to negotiate its production, Yuzna began his directorial career with 1989's Society. When high school student Bill Whitney is given evidence that his upper-class family took part in an incestuous orgy, all witnesses willing to confirm their perverted behavior wind up dead. After crashing a party his family is holding, Bill discovers his entire community is made up of shape-shifting beings who drain the nutrients of lower-class beings. The biological catastrophes of society's climax were created by eccentric Japanese effects artist Screaming Mad George. 
In making the insanely monstrous effects of this sequence, Mad George was inspired by several works of Salvador Dali, namely The Great Masturbator, Soft Construction with Boiled Beans, and Autumn Cannibalism. Interestingly, the film's life-sucking beings, along with its on-the-nose references to society, were meant to be taken as social commentary. In society, the rich literally eat the poor. Reanimator's sequel, Bride of Reanimator, was released in 1990. Bride of Reanimator revolves around Dan's deceased girlfriend from the first film, Meg Halsey. Or at least her body. After Wes discovers Meg's heart in a hospital storage room, he convinces Dan to build a new Meg around it using a suspicious assortment of spare body parts. However, with a nosy police officer poking around and Dr. Hill's severed head returning to life, things quickly get out of hand. And this time, the dog gets it. Bride of Reanimator's gruesome menagerie of special effects was created by an all-star lineup of artists, including K&B Effects Group and Screaming Mad George. While Usna would continue to produce and direct science fiction and horror films up to 2011, even reteaming with Gordon for the Lovecraft-inspired Dagon in 2001, none of them contain the same cult appeal as his early work. While Brian Usna will never be a household name, for obvious reasons, when it comes to grotesque experiments and bizarre monstrosities, he's practically a brand name. Fans of my channel can support it by donating on Patreon. Perks include access to written movie reviews and being able to vote on future video topics. This time, The Shining is holding on for a second round against the first four Friday the 13th films, so head over there now to cast your vote. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos.